Then we move on to the last part of the distribution system. Okay, can I move to the last part? Sorry, I forgot to ask that. Okay, thank you. Okay. We go to the gravity and pump combination. But for the gravity and pump system, now they are combining a different type of system. Okay. Although the water supply is below the level of the service area or even at the same level of the service area, so they have pumping rate to the to our treatment plant. So this is where we treat water. Then after this infection, it will be distributed. So now they have one pump and one service reservoir. Okay, remember, this is the service area. If you remember that I told you just now, at 12 o'clock at night, okay, so only 100 liters of water is needed at the service area. But this time around, the pump is pumping at a constant rate. So what do we mean by that constant rate? So let me do some calculation in my head. Right, it will pump at 500 liter per second. Okay. The pump will pump at 500 liter per second. So at 12 o'clock at night, since the water, the service area needs only 100 liter per second, that means the water from this pump will go 100 liter to this area, and another 400 liter will be saved at the service reservoir. Okay. At the service reservoir. Let's say during peak hours, okay? Let's say at 6 o'clock in the morning or even 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning, okay? So the, the service area needed 900 liter per second. So the pump will always pump at 500 liter per second. Now it will directly provide 500 liters per second to the service area, okay? It's not enough because I said that during the peak hours, we need 900 liters. A second so 500 directly goes there remember we have 400 being kept at the service reservoir so this 400 will help to provide the water needed so 400 plus 500 being pumped will be 900 liter per second being provided at the service area during the peak hours okay so whenever or in other words the, this pump will be pumping at the constant rate. So if the service area need little water, so that, that little water will be sent to the service area and the others will be kept in the service reservoir. So if the service area need more water compared to the pump, compared to the pumping rate, so the service reservoir, reservoir will help okay, to supply the water needed at the service area is that clear yeah yeah, yeah clear yeah. thanks thanks okay, thank you very much so since pumping rate is constant so the possibility for it to break down easily is very little okay not like in the previous example where the pump keep changing their pumping rate but this time it will be constant throughout the system so this one is better Gravity and pump combination system. Okay, so we don't necessarily have, or not very, very many area, uh, lucky to have a gravity system whereby they don't need pump. The water flows naturally uh, due to gravity. So most probably, most of us are having direct pump system. But in order for us to improve the direct pump system, is by combining the gravity and the pumps. Okay, the gravity part is being provided by the storage reservoir and the pump system is being provided by the pump or is pumped directly from the water treatment plant.